Most people in life are familiar with Howard Stern, who is a very interesting character on the radio scene. He's on radio because of the marvelous, rich, deep voice. He's also on the radio scene because he's earned his time, and he's seasoned in all the wonderful crimes of America, in a way. He's interviewed all kinds of people. He's interviewed all kinds of elite. He's interviewed all kinds of people from Hollywood and probably all kinds of people from sports. He's interviewed all kinds of folks from entertainment. He's interviewed all kinds of people on all walks of life. And I don't know the length of his interviews. I'd love to see that list of how many types of people he's interviewed. I don't know that he's had the right to interview the Dalai Lama, but I might like to check that out to see if the Dalai Lama would be interviewed by him. But what I'm talking about is not necessarily a regard for him, like a love of him. What I'm talking about for him is a regard for what he's been able to achieve over the length of his career. I could say the same thing about a Katie Couric. I could say the same thing about an Oprah Winfrey. I could say the same thing about a, I now think, deceased Phil Donahue. But the reality is that the interviewers of America, the listeners of America, are what help to propel and help to promote and help to grow America.